Shemai. This time we're looking for signs of spring. Um, it's not early, about eight o'clock I've come out, just walked to, the, to one of the fields that we were allowed to go into. Um, and just listening for the bird signs, There's lots of different signs of spring, but one of the lovely things you can do is come out early, just as the birds are starting to wait and just listen for them. It's actually a little bit late now, much earlier before I, I got up here and got started. Um, the bird song was absolutely amazing. So I'll just have a little listen. can hear in the distance where there's more woodland the bird song must be unbelievably loud but here it's just a few hedges so there's not quite not quite as many birds and, and the volume is normal but um, still interesting to to hear another great sign to watch out for especially with the increased bird activity is them collecting natural nesting material you'll see here just caught up in these trees sheep's wool and they'll be collecting that for making their nests and they'll collect things like mosses and dried grass and lots of other natural materials and sometimes it's even nice to put things like this into your bird feeders in the garden so they don't have to go searching for it it's there with the food ready for them to make their nests I'll leave that go there this for me is one of my favorite signs of spring the snowdrop it's one of the first flowers to come up and it's very hardy it's able to cope with the snow and the frosts and it's that first glimmer that spring is on its way brings a bit of a bit of brightness to the garden and to the woodlands beautiful delicate little flower another sign of spring and a good plant to watch out for when you're out for a woodland walk is lesser celandine um, it can be found along paths and tracks and by hedges and it's a plant with like a heart-shaped leaf, glossy leaf, a long stem. And it will come out in a lovely, delicate yellow flower. Um, and it's actually said to predict the weather in that the little yellow flower will close up when the rain comes. So we're a little bit early for them at the moment, but when you're out and about, have a look. Keep an eye out for this little yellow flower. This is one of my favourite things to find in the woodland this time of year in the spring. Just see, coming up between the ivy and the moss, the bluebells just starting to sprout. This will be a carpet of bluebells before too long. It's fantastic, I love it. Okay, another good sign of spring is the wild garlic coming up. And I'm just down by the stream and I'll take you to show you can usually smell it before you see it and you crush it under your feet you can just see it coming up here and there and if i break some off and just squeeze it between my fingers the smell is absolutely divine it's great to see it coming up certainly a sign that spring is on its way another sure sign that spring is on its way is the appearance of catkins um, on alder and hazel. So firstly, we've got alder tree here. You can see, see the catkins absolutely laden with it this year. And then if I move on a little bit further, there we are. And this one being hazel, you can see the catkins. Hanging, so this one is hanging like looks like icicles or rain. It's amazing. Another thing to look out for on hazel, and I only found this out last year, is that they have the tiniest, tiniest little flowers that are very, very difficult to look out for. So on the tips of the some of the buds, at the right time, I'll see if I can find some. You get the tiniest, tiniest little red flowers just on the tips of the buds. This one's a slightly different hazel tree um, and it has got the little red flower, very difficult to see. I'm not sure my, my camera can cope with it, but well, if you look at that one, just where my thumb is, let's see if I can 
and get it to focus. There's the tiniest little red flower just appearing there. Amazing. This one is a willow. Um, and again, it's worth a look just because the buds are so, so delicate and beautiful. Just bring those down and show you. Just see the fluffy, fluffy little buds. Amazing. Okay, so there we go. Some simple signs that spring is on its way. Pop on your warm gear, go outside and see what you can find. Be it the birds out early singing, to finding the nesting material, to those trees that are coming into buds or the catkins, or even some of those lovely flowers like the snowdrops or the lesser celandine. Anyway, hope you have a great time doing it. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.